You know, now that they hand, or now that I know that rocket shields are actually really, really strong, um, I'm excited to just grab the rockets that are scattered everywhere in the sky because any excess I get are, are is just like a hundred feet of verticality. That's that's pretty sweet. I'm also excited to try rocket arrows because, again, now that I know that those are a thing, I mean, how could I not? But you know, I just didn't really put two and two together. Um, now that I can I can use those, then a lot of the gleox where they they ascend to the heavens are are going to be su substantially easier. I am going to get rid of that pin because I've already done it, and that is most likely a Koroxy, which I'm not going to deal with right now. But yeah, uh, we're probably in another episode by this point, so it's going to be a little bit weird, but my new gamer tag that I, I use is Lemonado, which is actually, uh, it's either Lemonado, as in the Monado, or it's lemonado, as in lemons. I have a strange fatuation with citrus, and I love lemons. Okay, that, that's enough. We can we can jump off that now. And because the cooldown will often refresh in the air, it would behoove me to just use it on cooldown. Like, there's no reason not to, right? Uh, there's no chest there. Okay, well, so we'll grab the chest. The cool thing is that I can actually use the, the shields, or the, the rocket shields in midair. I can just stop skydiving and use the shield. Ooh, that's a good reward. Thank you. In fact, I feel I don't feel bad about doing this anymore. Look at that! Look at, look at this maneuverability. What is that? Weird. There's a sky island this low. I mean, I suppose we're not that low. It'd be neat if low grab actually kicked kicked into play on a mountain, but I, I know that's probably not something they're going to do. So we have, let's see, we haven't gotten any of the climbing gear yet. I'm just kind of trying to think of gear we don't have. Climbing gear we don't have, although we have the option to get the frog armor, um, which is not going to be useful now, but that doesn't mean it's not useful. It's it's going to be very useful when we go to Nekluda. Because that area is nothing but slippy, slippery surfaces. So it's actually really good that I came here first. I can see I can see a lot of reasons why you guys pushed me over here and why the game pushed me over here. Um, I just didn't want to go because I'm trying to make this playthrough unique, both in terms of other people's playthroughs and then also my own playthrough of Breath of the Wild. I didn't just... I didn't want to feel like I was doing... doing the bog standard playthrough that everyone is going to do. Let's see what... What is that? Oh, it's a enemy. Wait, is that a... That's not a Lionel, right? No, it's not a Lionel. Just a... Just a Moblin. That's a Lazalfos. And this is a... Can't tell. Chest? Aha! They did. Sweet. Large zone I charge. As I say every single time I get these... I'll never say no to one of those. We have a, a method of liftoff. I, I'll be honest, um, I didn't want, I didn't necessarily want to come here, um, just because I didn't want to be climbing everything. But, Tears of the Kingdom gives you so many more options when, it's, when it comes to your verticality, um, both down and up. I mean, we have the skydiving suit, um, we have, we have recall that can be used to go up. We have rocket shields. We have horizontal movement with Tulin. There's just so, the movement of this game is just infinitely better than Breath of the Wild. And, and, uh, traversing the map just doesn't feel like a chore anymore. It's great. That's where we came from. I want to be in sight of the ground. 
And truth be told, I, I want to be as low to the ground as possible. Because ultimately... Ultimately, I want to be able to mark my map with the Korok Seed. And really, I, I guess I never really... I guess I have explained that. I, I, my goal, because we're we're only gonna have uh, we're only going to have Tulin for a short time. Like yes, we're probably gonna get his spirit. That's that I understand that. But Tulin, the character, we're only gonna have for a little bit. And while I know this isn't like uh, a Bethesda game, oh, it automatically does the uh, paraglider. That's that's sweet. And while this isn't a Bethesda game, and he doesn't have lines of dialogue, there aren't any. There's no affinity with him. I would like to kind of... I would like to have experiences with him before he goes away. And that was kind of one of my problems with Riju, is I, I just beelined the story and didn't do a whole lot with, with Riju chillaxing in my party. So I'm, I'm kind of trying to fix that. I think it'd be cool if we had some experiences with each of the champions instead of their essentially AI, which even the game is like, oh yeah, this is this is just my, my summons. Grow Flom's Secret Hot Spring. So there might be a character here. Oh, more nudity. This is the nudity episode. I hope you enjoy Link and his, his nudity and his arm, which is not his arm. Never forget it is not his arm that is that he has. It's someone else's arm, which is kind of, there are implications to that. Let's do better than I did last time. We have a spear, we have a shield. We don't have a bow. Looks like that guy's just going to see me. But, what is this shrine called? Infiltration. Yeah, that's what I thought. This is a stealth-oriented shrine. That guy's a bow. Alright, here we go. Jigs up. Yeah, that guy can't get to me, actually. But it looks like these guys are pretty strong. Okay, that's a spear guy. I don't have arrows, I don't have arrows. Take this out. Have the shield. He's dead. Not a problem anymore. I'm also fine treating my weapons as disposable. Camera, we're good. It's just clear. We also still have our blessings. I need to and keep that in mind. For example, I could probably ascend up to that. Let's check out what's over here first. And I don't need to worry about a odd that this exists. I don't need to worry about a chest because they're going to give me a chest for completing this. Nothing up there. That's very odd. So there's probably something on the other side. Those lasers undoubtedly just alert the guards. Uh, that's just a normal barrel. Can it be... It's decent, decent, decent. In a pinch, plus one damage is plus one damage. I'm gonna wander around over here and, and figure out a drop point where I can ambush the other, the other guardian. Uh, sorry, not guardian, construct, construct. Actually, no, I think he came around. Yeah, he came around, so he, we're, he's not an issue here. Duck under this one? Yeah. I don't see anybody around, but the walkways are, are transparent, or um, effectively transparent. So we have five arrows. I also have these for it. Kite him, kite him, kite him. Run! Ow! Ow, ow, ow. He's faster than I thought, faster than I thought. Move, move, move. Get cover, get cover, get cover, get cover. I don't want to fail this again. I don't want to fail this again. Okay, get up. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> uh, while I'm on this, 
we're just going to destroy. Two damage, really? When does the siren go away? Okay, I'm good. I'm fine. All right. So there are big men. There are big men I need to worry about. Sure. You know, I thought I had an extra second before that happened. But as is every challenge, gotta die once in order to become a beast. What are you gonna do, huh? Oh, they- Cool, they have weapons. Running! Got him. Sweet. Highway robbery right there. My turn. My turn. Nice try, buddy. But there's no one to help you. Got both of them. Really? That? Oh, it's a bramble. Okay. Well, there goes my insta kill protection. What is this? I don't know why there's a bramble there randomly. All right. Oh, that didn't work. Later. I'm not even I'm not even upset by this point because I handle this I handle it so well on the return trip. I just need to think about what I'm doing differently on the the second attempt as opposed to the first. Also, had I left those weapons there, I could have taken them as a reward. But they weren't they weren't terribly good. It's just, you know, I'm just saying. And we get a sapphire. Okay. Sure. Won't complain about that. Okie doke, where are we going? Oh yeah, the 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 thing, the thing. Okay, well let's let's do the thing. Uh, I don't have. I guess I have a flame emitter shield. So let's just. Bye. Hello. Oh, it didn't work. Uh. You want to hit me? You want to hit me? Come on. Hit me. Thank you, Riju. Uh-oh. 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 He missed. And... Okay. Sure. Sure. I'm fine with that. So there's a hot spring, which actually killed him. It's weird that he is essentially camping above lava. That doesn't seem like a great idea. So this is a named character's hot spring, but I'm not seeing any named character. So maybe either it's going to happen later or it's something from Breath of the Wild that I don't quite remember. I'm going to... I'm just going to trust that it's not something that I'm missing now in the moment, you know? I feel like I'm going very fast for some reason. Why... Am I actually- it actually feels like I'm going much faster than I normally do. What is that? Oh. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine grabbing it. I'm a little bit more okay with grabbing these Koroks because I feel like... They're slightly different from the- your average Korok, you know? I need help to make look at the little handy being a little friend. He's across the entire planet. I've fallen and I can't get up. Uh, well, thankfully, I subconsciously decided to equip auto build and I have just the thing for you.
Bada bing. Oh, what? oh it's a control platform. So I, I guess I could have made this without needing to make this, but that's fine. This is the quickest option. I also want to cut, you know, I'm going to cut this one out because really we're just backtracking. Had I been going this direction, then it would have been a great little, like, a, it would have been the great motivator. That was close. Almost died to him. Is he chasing me? No, he gave up. Sweet. Ooh, this is a... What kind of stuff? Oh! Whoa! 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 This guy has a shrine on him! Okay! Let's kill this guy right quick! No! Get off, get off, get off! Let's try this instead. Ah. Uh... Easy. Stone Talus are best dealt with in one go, or else it just takes extra time. We're getting so many of these hearts. You know what? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I haven't tr attached one of these to a shield yet. Ah, uh, I'm running out of shields that are just like shields. You know what? Let's let's do this one. Cause I have a I have a shield. Can I fuse this? Hold on. No, I can't. We're gonna try it. Uh, and then also equip this. Where does this want us- Wait, can I pick it up and get- Follow the beam to its end and offer the crystal there. Do so, and I will offer you a light that banishes evil. Okay, there we go. Now we have our objective. Now I can attach it to my thing. Which is currently stuck. There we go. Also, it just occurred to me that the reason why Ultra Hand is on the right is because it uses our right hand. That's very clever. And... Jump off. Get back here. I don't know if that's going to destroy my thing. I hope it's smart enough to unfuse it. I hope... It's good. Cool. Good job, game. Although it's probably going to despawn it now. It doesn't do that with horses, but I've... Come on. I feel like when the game isn't running well, then it, it just decides to despawn things that are causing it to lag. Raru's Blessing. Sisur and Shrine. Sweet. What do we get? Also, I hope you guys have noticed the little, uh, the little Easter egg I do with, uh... With all of the blessing shrines, because I've been replacing the music in this game, just because, I, I don't know, I, I feel like it makes the game a little bit easier to watch, because you're... I use better music than the game has. Uh, but all of the blessing shrines, I use the Silent Realm music of the corresponding deity. I just thought that was kind of neat. 